What's up, VLSIverse fam? Today, we're tackling something that's driving innovation across AI, gaming, data centers, you name it, AI accelerator chips. These chips are doing the heavy lifting for tasks like deep learning, facial recognition, and autonomous vehicles. And you know who's leading the charge? NVIDIA, yup. The same folks that gave you amazing gaming graphics are also revolutionizing AI with their killer accelerators. So if you've ever wondered how these chips are changing the game from a VLSI design perspective, buckle up, we're going deep. Okay, let's break it down. AI accelerator chips are custom designed pieces of hardware that handle intense specialized computations that standard CPUs just can't do efficiently. We're talking about tasks like matrix multiplication, which is foundational in AI for things like neural networks and deep learning. So as in technical terms, an AI accelerator is a high performance parallel computation machine that is specifically designed for the efficient processing of AI workloads like neural network. Traditionally, in the software design, computer scientists focused on developing a logarithm approach that matches specific problems and implemented them in a high-level procedural language. To take advantage of the available hardware, some algorithm could be threaded. However, massive parallelism was difficult to achieve on normal computer chips. Now, from a VLSI standpoint, these chips are all about efficiency. Think about packing billions of transistors onto a small silicon die and designing it in a way that minimizes latency, maximizes throughput, and optimizes power consumption. The more transistors and the more optimized your design, the faster your chip can handle AI workloads. Types of AI accelerator chips. We've got multiple types of AI accelerators, each optimized for specific tasks. NVIDIA is a huge player here, but let's go through the whole spectrum with examples from both NVIDIA and others. GPUs, graphics processing units. This is where NVIDIA shines. Originally designed for graphics rendering, GPUs are amazing at handling parallel computations, perfect for training deep learning models. Think of GPUs like a massive army of workers that can all tackle small pieces of a task simultaneously. NVIDIA's Ampere architecture is a prime example of how GPUs are accelerating AI. It includes tensor cores, which are specifically optimized for matrix operations, drastically speeding up AI workloads. From a VLSI perspective, NVIDIA has nailed the design by integrating more cores per chip, optimizing interconnects, and balancing heat dissipation through Advanced Power Distribution Networks, PDN. TPUs, tensor processing units, Google developed these for TensorFlow, and they're hyper-focused on matrix multiplications. TPUs are tailored for running AI models in the cloud at high efficiency. Think of them as the hyper-efficient knives of deep learning. From a VLSI design angle, TPUs use systolic arrays, which are a matrix of processors optimized for handling tensor operations, dramatically reducing data movement and latency. NPUs, neural processing units. Now, NPUs are your go-to for on-device AI, like in smartphones, where you need low latency and low power processing for tasks like face recognition or voice assistance. NVIDIA's Jetson Xavier NPU is a great example. It's designed for edge AI applications, meaning it can run real-time AI inference while consuming minimal power. The VLSI design challenge here is balancing power efficiency with real-time performance using low power layout techniques like dynamic voltage and frequency scaling, DVFS. ASICs, Application Specific Integrated Circuits, ASICs are tailored for a single task and do it exceptionally well. For example, NVIDIA's DLA, Deep Learning Accelerator, is an ASIC dedicated to AI inference tasks. These are the chips you see in high-performance cloud systems doing real-time AI workloads. From a VLSI perspective, the focus here is on optimizing the design for specific algorithms, minimizing unnecessary logic, and keeping the chip as energy efficient as possible. This is achieved using techniques like full custom design and power gating. FPGAs, field programmable gate arrays. FPGAs are more flexible, allowing reprogramming for different tasks. While not as fast as GPUs or ASICs, they're great for AI prototyping. NVIDIA's acquisition of Mellanox shows their interest in integrating FPGA-based networking solutions to optimize AI workloads in data centers. The VLSI aspect here involves designing reconfigurable logic blocks and high-speed IOs, enabling quick adaptability for changing AI models. AI accelerators in action data centers and AI model training. 
NVIDIA's A100 Tensor Core GPUs, part of the Ampere architecture, are driving AI research at some of the largest data centers on the planet, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services, and more. These GPUs are optimized for deep learning training, utilizing multi-instance GPU MIT technology, which allows a single GPU to be split into multiple instances, each running separate tasks. This is where VLSI design plays a massive role by optimizing the chip layout and ensuring that each core can handle its workload efficiently without creating thermal hotspots or excessive power consumption. Autonomous vehicles, NVIDIA's Drive AGX platform uses their Xavier SoC, which integrates a powerful GPU, NPU, and a CPU to process real-time data from vehicle sensors. Think of an autonomous car detecting obstacles and making decisions in a split second. The NPU is critical here for real-time AI processing on the edge, while the GPU handles heavy lifting like image recognition and sensor fusion. VLSI techniques like floor planning and clock gating ensure that the chip operates within strict power budgets, all while maintaining high performance. Healthcare and genomics, NVIDIA's Clara AI platform is transforming healthcare by using GPUs for medical imaging and genomic sequencing. For example, in genomics, GPUs accelerate the mapping and alignment of gene sequences. Tasks that would take weeks on traditional CPUs can now be done in hours. Here, VLSI design principles ensure high data bandwidth and memory optimization, enabling the GPU to handle massive data sets without bottlenecks. Why these chips matter? All right, let's connect the dots. Why do AI accelerator chips matter, especially from a VLSI design perspective? Think of the current AI landscape. Every time you use Google Assistant, get a recommendation on Netflix, or watch real-time translation in action, there's a custom-designed chip working behind the scenes. Without these accelerators, training AI models would take exponentially longer, and real-time AI processing just wouldn't be possible. In the case of NVIDIA's A100 Tensor Core GPU, VLSE design is pushed to its limits. Engineers need to maximize the number of cores, optimize memory access, and ensure the chip can handle massive parallel tasks without overheating. The balance of performance, area, and power, PPA, the core focus of VLSI, determines the success of these chips in real-world applications. If you want to know more about what are these NPU GPUs, check out our recent video on CPU GPU and NPU. Trends in AI accelerator development. So where's the industry heading next? Here are some trends we're seeing in AI accelerators, with NVIDIA leading the charge. Heterogeneous computing. NVIDIA's GPUs are often paired with CPUs, FPGAs, and NPUs to optimize different aspects of AI workloads. For example, in AI inference, you might have a GPU doing the heavy lifting, while an NPU handles real-time decision-making. The VLSI challenge here is integrating multiple types of cores into a single chip, like what NVIDIA's Orin SoC does, while keeping everything efficient in terms of power and thermal management. Edge AI and TinyML. With the rise of edge computing, NVIDIA's Jetson Nano and Jetson Xavier platforms are enabling AI on devices like drones, robots, and IoT sensors. The focus is on low-power, high-performance VLSI design, enabling real-time AI processing without relying on cloud computing. VLSI techniques like hierarchical clock distribution and adaptive voltage scaling ensure that these chips run efficiently in constrained environments. Quantum AI. NVIDIA is exploring AI models that could leverage quantum computing in the future. Although we're not there yet, the VLSI design for quantum architectures is an exciting challenge, particularly as we think about how to integrate quantum circuits with classical AI accelerators. So, that's your deep dive into AI accelerator chips, how they work, where they're used, and why VLSI design is so critical to their performance. These chips are changing the game in AI, and the future's looking even wilder. If you learned something new, hit that like button, subscribe to VLSIverse for more tech deep dives, and drop a comment on what you want me to cover next. Till next time, keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.